Hey guys, this is Freddy Frogs, certified Ableton trainer and point blank instructor. If you want to learn more Ableton techniques, make sure you check out our courses at pointblanklondon.com. So let's explore the various modulation tools we have in Simpler. Modulation means movement. We have two main tools to implement movements across the parameters of the sound, across the aspects of the sound, and that's the envelopes and the LFO. So firstly, the envelopes. The envelope is a tool to implement linear movement, a movement that has a beginning and an end, whilst the LFO, the low frequency oscillator, enables us to create a cyclic movement, a repetitive movement. So I've got here my vocal loaded into Simpler. I'm going to trigger this via a MIDI clip containing a chord, like so. Right. So we have three envelopes within Simpler. The amplifier envelope, firstly, you'll find it under the control tab and amplitude here. So you can also access it from anywhere using the dials at the bottom here. So two different ways to modulate, to change that envelope using the graph here or using the dials at the bottom here. So this is pretty much the main envelope of any synthesizer or sampler since it enables us to create the shape of the sound. So we can have a short drum-like sound, or a long ongoing sound, a slow fading sound with a long attack, and we can create a tail once the MIDI note is finished playing using the release. So no tail, or a long tail. So that was the first envelope. Let's move over to the filter envelope. Let's enable filtering here with the frequency. And you can access the envelope using this button here. Okay, raise the amount because this is not like an amplifier envelope. We need to feed it, we need to implement it within the sound. Let's just move the attack up so you can hear the movement of the filter. Yeah, and you can go into negative value for an opposite movement. So, in negative value, the filter goes from its starting point here downwards, and with positive value, it goes upwards. So, downwards now. You can, you can hear the dip down and then it goes back up. So I can bring this up to change the movement. Okay. Let's bring us up. You can hear clearly the movement downwards or the movement upwards this way. Okay, so that's the filter envelope. Now the right hand side part of that tab shares its view between the amplitude envelope and the pitch envelope. So if you hit this button here, you'll reach the pitch envelope. Now I ought to say that you need to have the warping engine under Complex Pro, Complex Texture or Tone in order to hear the pitch envelope. If you're on beats or repeats, you won't hear anything. So let's place it on Complex Pro and let's bring the amount up. Let's turn off the filter so you can clearly hear the movement of the pitch here. That's it, you can hear it fall. You can also make it go upwards with negative values. But we'll look at a tutorial specifically on that later on. But remember, you need to have the warping engine on the Complex Pro, Complex Texture or Tone to hear that movement. Let's show it with beats. See, there is no movement of pitch. Okay, so it has to be one of these others. Like so. so that's the three envelopes within Simpler. Let's move over to the LFO, the Low Frequency Oscillator. I said earlier on, this is a cyclic movement. The cycle is represented with this graph here, and it can be sent, fed, into the volume, the pitch, the filter, or the pan. So you see, it's very different from the envelopes. Each envelope was attached to a specific aspect of the sound, whereas the LFO is shared between the different aspects of the sound. So let's implement a cyclic movement over the volume first. Let's raise this up. Let's make it faster. This is called a tremolo. LFO into volume. You can change the shape of that LFO over here. Sharper with a triangle, maybe a square even sharper. Okay, you can synchronize the LFO here with this little note icon here. Okay, so that was into the volume. It's called a tremolo. Let's now move it over the filter. Let's bring the filter down for this to be heard. Let's turn the filter envelope down so you can hear it clearly. There you go. 
you can hear it clearly. So the higher the value here, the wider the movement of the LFO. It means that the frequency moves much further away from its initial point, like so. Let's feed it now into the pitch. Let's remove that pitch envelope so you can hear it clearly. And you can hear the pitch going up and down. This is called a vibrato. Let's make it faster now for a proper vibrato. And maybe not as strong. And you can hear clearly, almost like a violin type vibrato here. And finally, this cyclic movement can be implemented into the panning. And you can clearly hear now the sound going from the right hand side to the left hand side. So the LFO can also be tweaked up there with a slower attack on the LFO so it doesn't affect immediately the sound. Let's do this on the filter. See the movement doesn't come immediately. Like so. You can offset the movement, you can see the graph moving here, so it goes downwards first or upwards first, and you can make sure that the LFO re-triggers itself every time a new MIDI note is being played, that's the re-trigger option here. So these modulation tools are essential to shape the sound the way we want it. And I ought to say that when you're sampling your voice or sampling a natural sound, you should ask yourself, am I trying to replay that sound as it was, or am I trying to completely change that sound? Am I, am I trying to come up with something completely new? And this is what these tools would enable us to do, to completely reshape that sound. So from that vocal sample I had, I can turn that into something very, very, very different now. Let's try and shape this up. Let's add a little bit of release. There you go. So now you can hear this has nothing to do with my vocal anymore. Let's take the warping engine off for a slightly better sounding. There you go. Every one of these tools will really truly transform the sound. See, the sound has nothing to do with what it was originally. So using these tools, a specific sound can be transformed into a brand new sound which has nothing to do with the original sound. So that's the power of the modulation tools within Simple.